Let's dive into a demo of Azure API Management's powerful Gen AI capabilities. To support Gen AI scenarios, users can easily import an Azure OpenAI service and a deployed model. The setup is very straightforward, also offering recommendations like the improving for SDK compatibility options. Core enhancement includes our out-of-the-box policy offerings. Users can, for example, use the Azure OpenAI token limit policy to protect the API from overuse and control costs. You can define the maximum number of tokens here that can be consumed per minute and also set specific token quotas based on fixed time windows such as daily or weekly limits. Users can also enable the token usage policy to track the consumed tokens. And last but not least, our semantic caching policy will speed up responses and reduce token usage for similar prompts. For this, we will leverage Redis Enterprise for caching capabilities. Users will only have to set a similarity score threshold and cache duration to optimize the desired performance. It's important to note that users can also integrate with other AI models. While we will provide a first-class experience for Azure services, we are not restrictive. Now let's switch over to Visual Studio Code to see these policies and actions. I will open my API policy in the editor first to revisit the configurations. You can see that the Gen AI policies have been automatically set up. You can see token consumption management here, token tracking has been enabled, and also my semantic caching. Let's move to my Jupyter Notebook to test and visualize these policies. Let's start with the managing token consumption policy. I've set my max token count to 500. So now after running my script, you can see that after the eighth run, I received a 429 response indicating the token limit has been reached. Now let's showcase you how I can best track my token usage. I'm executing a script here using three different subscription keys. We will send 20 requests for each subscription key, wanting to test how many tokens are being used across these different subscription keys here. Azure API Management is using Application Insights to better track the consumption of my LLM tokens through Azure OpenAI. The metrics graph will show the token usage based on my different subscription keys providing me great insights into the overall token usage. And now let's switch to my semantic caching capabilities. This time I will again make 20 different calls using the Azure OpenAI Python SDK, varying the question prompt slightly. The first request should take a little bit longer as it makes it all the way to my OpenAI backend. The following requests, however, will be much quicker as we are drawing from the semantic cache. AI load balancing distributes requests across multiple OpenAI service instances for efficient and reliable performance. In the Azure portal, I can configure my desired AI services as backends, setting priorities and weights. So for this demo, my primary backend is used until exhausted. Then the requests are split between two equally weighted secondary backends. In my Jupyter Notebook, you can see that for the first 12 runs, requests are directed to the primary backend in East US. After that, they are equally split between Sweden Central and West US. Mm -hmm.